My name is Evelyn Perez, and I'm a graduate of the Temecula Day Reporting Center, where I received my high school diploma after six months. Let me start by telling you a little bit about myself. I have two dogs that are my kids, and currently working at a local deli full time. It seemed to me at a young age that school did not have much to offer me, nor did I have anything to offer it. It's not like I was going to try out for a head cheerleader or you know, be prom queen or anything. <laughs> Never went to school much, and we moved around a lot. And starting a new school that often, it was hard making new friends. Eventually, I just stopped going and just stayed home. When my parents were at work, that is when I started using drugs. Eventually, by the ninth grade, I just dropped out. It was a lot easier to make friends when I was high. And because of my drug use and lack of education, I started making bad choices. I began to get in trouble with the law that led to having to attend programs to address my drug addiction. As it was, it was either programs or jail. So, of course. <laughs> As you can see, I made that right choice this time. Now that I made the right choice, I have been sober for two years, and I'm graduating. <laughs> and I'm graduating from RCOE, and I studied hard for the high set exam for six months, and I passed. Good job. I owe it to Ms. Flanagan, my probation officer. She always gave me encouragement to keep going and helped through various challenges in my life. Sh sure, it wasn't easy working a full-time job and attending classes three times a week, but the motivation for my teacher, Ms. Gonzalez, helping me understand math and English, <clears throat> she made learning fun. I started looking forward to coming to those classes. She helped me believe in myself and the idea that I could actually pass the high set. I had a friend who was near and dear to my heart, and he's no longer with us. He was always pushing me to take the next step to do something better with my life. He knew I had it in me. He also got my dad back in my life. And I'm so thankful for that. Man, it's hot up here. <laughs> <laughs> I realized that my dad always believed in me and encouraged the best in me also. I also met um, Broad, the love of my life. I had to make a DRC because where he was also attending classes. DRC has made such an impact on my life. And I would like to thank everyone there at Temecula DRC for making today possible. They were always so very pleasant. <laughs> they were also and made my days there enjoyable and fun, so I didn't mind going, you know, because Miss Flanagan made me go. <laughs> it's not like I wanted to go or anything. <clears throat> and Miss Gallus, she, she had the faith in me. And she knew I would be able to do it, and I'm thankful for that. I quote Lisa Harlow, thanks for showing me that even on the darkest, rainiest days, the sun is still there, just behind the clouds, waiting to shine again. Without you all, I would not be a proud graduate with the class of 2017. 